Hey guys, what's up? How are you? I hope that you guys are having an amazing day today. If you are new here, hi, my name is Jarrell, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the new foundation from Makeup Forever. This one is the HD Skin Foundation, and I got mine in the shade 2N26, so we're going to put it to the test. I'm going to wear it for the rest of the day. It is about one o'clock in the afternoon and i usually give you guys about seven hours of wear that is my normal wear for a foundation i do have an oily t-zone and pretty normal in the outer part of my face so we're going to be putting this foundation to the test um just to give you guys a little bit more information about this foundation right here which this is the packaging absolutely beautiful i do want to make sure that it does have a pump this is my first time opening it love of the packaging on the new foundation by the way this one is actually replacing the ultra hd this is a really deep shade so i'm not going to be able to do a comparison and it really doesn't matter because you are not going to be able to get this one anymore and i'm actually looking it up at the sephora website right now i was able to get mine at the store just so you guys know you can go to the store they will match you to your perfect shade of course i didn't have time to do that because i was able to just order it online to pick up and get in and out. This retails for $43. It claims to be waterproof, medium coverage, natural finish, long wearing, and best for oily combo and normal skin. So let's go ahead and put it on our face and let me bring you in a little closer. We're a little closer. I just don't want to be too, too, too close because I feel like whenever I'm editing my videos, I'm way too close. I'm almost done with my Tatcha primer and I do have a little replacement here and it is my absolutely favorite primer. So I am going to be using my Tatcha primer as I always do. So we're going to do a sponge on this side and a brush on this side and I'm going to pump some of the foundation in the back of my hand. So here is the foundation and this one is in the shade Sand, which once again is in the shade 2N26. And this claims to be for medium skin tones with neutral undertones. Um, I rather have a little bit more of a golden undertone. Um, neutral sometimes can lean a little ashy, especially when I start blending it out down to my neck. But I really didn't want to pick up the shade that was recommended to me, which it was the... Uh, 2Y20 just because it's for the light to medium skin tones with yellow undertone. I think that that would have been a really good match for me. But because I live in Florida and when spring and summer actually comes around, I do tend to get a little bit darker. So I just don't want to deal with my foundation being way too light for me. So I think that this is a pretty good match once I blend it down to the neck. So here is the first layer with the sponge and you can see that it evened out my skin tone. I can definitely see that it's not like a dewy luminous foundation. It is definitely settled into the skin a little bit more on the natural side like it claims. It's not matte because I still do see a little shine but not comparing it to the foundations that I tested out yesterday just in case you missed that video you can check it down in the description area I will link it down below but let's go ahead and now try the foundation with a brush you can still see a little bit of the redness peeking through on my nose and I do have some sunspots and discoloration, redness on my cheeks of course I like to even out my skin tone as much as I can when I am wearing makeup I mean I like my skin bare it's fine <laughs> but if i'm going to wear makeup those are the things that i want the foundation to cover my discoloration around my mouth or the redness my sunspots you know just to give me a really nice flawless perfected as much as you can so i do like how the brush is just spreading it out and you can definitely build it up a little bit more like the redness on this part of my nose is a little bit more covered than on this side right here so yeah i think the brush is also a good way to go so it's just really your preference so i just went ahead and added a little bit of that foundation to the areas that i need a little bit more coverage and i'm going to just go with a brush so here we have the foundation still feels a little tacky to the touch it's not completely set so looking at the skin really nice close and um, personal i do want to let you guys know that i can still see a little bit of the sunspots that i have over here just peeking through but it did give me a really nice coverage it's just really a 
solid medium coverage is not full coverage because I can still see some of my imperfections coming through I was able to build it up a little bit more around my mouth but the redness on my nose like right here still coming through but I do not want to add more foundation just because I don't want it to start kicking up or just building up in this area I was able to build it up a little bit around my mouth just to give me a really nice coverage especially on my chin because i do have some scarring just so you know the foundation really starts wearing off on me on my chin and around my mouth and on my nose that's just where the foundation tends to leave first but um this is how the skin looks like i am going to add a little bit of the concealer which i do have right here which is also the Makeup forever hd and i do have mine in the shade 34 so let's go ahead and just add a little bit of this concealer in the areas that I need. All right, so I am going to add a little bit of powder, which I'm going to be using this one from Makeup Forever as well, which I don't know if you can tell, but it is definitely a loved one for me. it's about 1 30 in the afternoon and here we have the foundation with concealer and powder i am going to do the rest of my makeup off camera and i'll show you the final look in a little bit all right guys so here is how the foundation looks with bronzer blush and highlighter and of course i finished the rest of my makeup it is about 2 24 in the afternoon and i have to get going but i will check with you guys later on tonight after i finish putting my baby to sleep but yeah so far so good it's definitely giving me like natural vibes the foundation got a little bit darker but i think that after i apply everything it just looks really nice and just matches to uh, the rest of my body but yeah i will check with you guys later bye all right guys so it is 9 36 at night um right here you can tell but i am super tired right now i do have my comfy shirt if you do see some foundation it actually transferred when i was putting this shirt on i've been doing a lot of stuff and one of them is definitely playing with my one year old and he tends to just want to like cuddle on my face and scratch me and like also give me a bath when i'm giving him a bath so this makeup has been through a lot um so let's go ahead and just talk about it so i do still see that there is the bronzer blush um the highlighter is definitely being combined with my oils that have been here for a long time already um i can see my oils just peeking through however the foundation it has not broken down um i do see the same thing that i always do which is the little redness around my nose but it has not settled into any of my pores now this is not me touching up i don't want you to think that i will be walking around well i would but usually i wouldn't be walking around being such a like grease ball like i feel like i am right now um but it's that i can't touch up because i'm doing this video so i'm super greasy and super oily and you know what i don't mind being oily because that is what keeps you young if you didn't know if you have your oils i don't have anything against my oils but i am definitely a little too dewy for my taste i would definitely have already touched up but because i'm doing this video for you guys i don't want to touch up and i want to show you guys exactly how the foundation wears um i do have my oily t-zone in, in this area right here i don't see that is like my pores are being super pronounced and i've been looking at my skin like every single minute i do feel however that the shade is just throwing me off so i am going to have to change the shade just because i feel like it's a little bit more i don't know it's just not vibing with me so i'm going to have to change the shade but besides that i feel like my skin looks pretty nice it's not like emphasizing any of my pores i mean my pores are still there but it's just not sinking into any of my pores it's not sinking into my lines the pores in between my brows is definitely not being emphasized it is definitely greasy right here <laughs> 
<laughs> but it's not being emphasized all in this area is just looking so nice and i'm really amazed with my forehead of how pretty it actually looks even though my lines are still there the foundation is just not emphasizing them and the, it's not settling into my lines it's not making that cakiness you know how it is so right here on my nose and on my upper lip and on my chin i can tell right away that the foundation has just left the building it has left the building so let's go ahead and see if anything changes if we apply this powder right here that i apply earlier today so now that you see the face with a powder it looks really nice i mean i can still see that i can wear this foundation still it still looks okay but i can still see like some areas on my face that just missing foundation like on this area right here again on my chin on my nose on my upper lip so i can see that those areas no longer have foundation i don't think that is a long wearing foundation i don't know what how they're putting it to the test um is it a mom or is it just someone that is just sitting on a desk <laughs> i don't know um so for me it's definitely not going to be a long wearing foundation if i'm going to be hanging out with my kids because i know that they're going to want to hug me and kiss me and all of that good stuff and the foundation doesn't claim to be transfer proof so it is going to be transferring like i show you on my shirt it is saying that it is waterproof and i can totally agree with that because i did give my child a bath and he usually like splashes me and it's like we are both taking a bath together um so yeah the foundation did not go anywhere after all that water was splashed on my face um but I really think that it's really up to you on how you see this foundation. Is it going to be something that is going to be replacing one of your already holy grail foundations or is it going to be something that is, you know, something new that you want to try? So it's really up to you and it's really your decision whether you want to get this foundation. Do I really think this foundation is like super awesome, super great? It's, I don't feel like it's going to replace other foundations that I really do enjoy in my collection already. Just uh, take that information and, you know, make your own decision whether you want to try it or not. So yeah, that is it, my friends. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for being here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and I will see you next time. Bye.